Hello and welcome to Knowledge Bar. My name is Jerry. I'm going to be your knowledge expert on mice. Micro Center carries over 200 different types of mice and the choices are bewildering and you should make a more informed choice than just what color do I like. The thing about it is it's not a matter of which mouse is the best one. It's what is the job that needs to be accomplished and then we pick the correct tool. Let's go over a quick history lesson. Mice basically at to keep track of the XY position of the cursor on the desktop. So an old mouse like this had two separate wheels that did that. It also had a nine pin serial connector. If you're still using a mouse like this, kudos to you and how are you watching this video? The next uh, type of mouse we're talking about is the old ball mouse. Now the ball mouse did the same thing as the, uh, as the uh, XY wheels, only the XY bars were inside, had the little rubber coated steel ball and you were always having to take the silly thing apart and clean out all the nasty uh, stuff that get caught up inside. Introduced at this time the PS2 connector. All right, this would be a dedicated port on the back of the laptop or the desktop in order to uh, have a mouse support. The next one that came out though, we introduced LED technology. That basically we have a little LED flashlight in here that would illuminate the surface that you're rolling the mouse over and inside you have a very low resolution camera that keeps track as it takes photographs and keeps track of the position of the mouse and that's how you pass the information. You have the same type of technology here, LED, but with a USB connector, all right, because these legacy uh, PS2s are kind of fading away. For those people who find it more useful to keep using that PS2 port and keep the USB connection for something more useful, there are these little adapters that are out there that you can slide on and convert it over into back into a PS2. Keep in mind though that unless the connector came with the mouse originally, it, it's probably not going to work. There's just too many variations and voltages and so forth for just a generic one of these to work all the time. So then the next finally we get a wireless mouse. Basically we still have uh, an LED illumination or you might have laser illumination. By laser I mean a, an IR laser diode, just basically a more sophisticated uh, light flashlight to a surface. And then you have, notice, no wires mall. This is going to be uh, connected either through an RF connection to a, uh, a little antenna assembly that's going to be accompanying it or it'll be a uh, Bluetooth. More on that later. So you basically have two fundamental choices of what you want. You're going to have some sort of LED illuminated, laser illuminated type capability and it's going to be with a wire or without. So are you using your mouse to surf the web and do documentations and do spreadsheets or do you want to be a gamer where your life will depend on how well your mouse reacts? Let's start with the most basic uh, fundamentals that you want to be just a regular computer user with a mouse that allow you to get work done. So your choices on here. I like still having a wire if at all possible or you should at least always keep a wired mouse available because there's less to go wrong. You don't run out of batteries with a mouse like this and a connection like this any a contemporary computer will have legacy support for the uh, USB connection you'll be able to use your mouse under any condition so it's always nice to have one of these but to be fair the clutter is nice to get rid of if we go wireless. Now with wireless once again we're going to go with uh, either a uh, RF technology, a radio frequency technology, or we're going to, or another version of that would be Bluetooth. Now, Bluetooth gives us the ability to say, with the little, whoops, sorry, symbol right there, Bluetooth. If you have a laptop that comes with the Bluetooth built in, you won't have to worry about keeping track of where the little, the little antenna goes. Now, those are easy to lose. You do have variations with that technology where you have a larger adapter. This is either a plus or a minus, uh, depending on how you look at it. A larger one is easier to keep track of in the bottom of the bag, uh, but uh, it sticks out the side of the laptop and could get snagged on something if you forget about it and it can get broken. You'll notice that on some of these, uh, for, for mice that are designed for laptops, they are smaller. Also, you'll notice that a lot of the packaging for mice the mouse is set inside this little plastic bubble and the reason why that is is so that you can take it for a little test drive and see if it's at all uh, the right shape. Quite frankly I think that's kind of silly because all these mice use the same type of claw grip but it is uh, nice to look at that. Also on this particular one again this is a wired mouse and it's designed for, uh, for travel. It's going to be a shorter cord. It won't be uh, six feet long. It'll be maybe uh, two feet long normally. 
It has a, a tilt wheel technology, which we also have on this mouse here, and tilt wheel allows us now to be able to slide back and forth on our spreadsheets or our, uh, our web pages. And then we have a mouse that's going to have a series of additional programmable buttons. Again, what is it that you do the most with your computer? Are you always zooming in or zooming out? Do you want to have the ability to uh, quickly uh, scroll to the next page or you want to have a multi-page uh, workbook uh, spreadsheet? You can go ahead and program this to be able to take some of those uh, keyboard operations out of the way. Next step then is perhaps you're going to be a gamer and you need high resolution. Normally old mechanical ball mice gave you about 400. Here you get maybe a thousand uh, DPI. Gaming mice, we go ahead and we get a 2000 DPI. This is a very simple mouse. I happen to like, again, it has a cable. Uh, it's uh, fairly foolproof, but depending on where you want to go, the next that you can go as high as a mouse like this. This is from the Razer series. This is listed as 6400 DPI. All right, very high twitch uh, capable uh, tracking type of mouse to be able to uh, zoom in on your target. Also in, within the gaming mice, which kind of neat, you have a high customizability mouse like this. Comes with a series of uh, weights, so you can adjust the heft of the mouse inside. Next up though with mice, what's the future of mice? Something like this. No individual buttons, no wheel, the whole entire surface of the mouse is smooth. And now we have the ability to use the advanced uh, motion figures where I can go ahead and with uh, two fingers I can easily scroll back and forth or I can slide back and forth or I can do pinch operations to expand or contract the, uh, the image. And that's the quick lesson on mice. Thanks a lot.